with you. We are so glad to be back with you again. This is the fifth Sunday in May, the fifth Sunday, which is May 29th. May 20th, the fifth Sunday. We had five Sundays in this month. And what, remember, the second Sunday was what, Mother's Day? Boy, we had it. And we hope that you enjoyed your mothers too. But, Boys and girls, with that being said, what are three W's? What are we going to do? Wear your mask, wash your hands, and wait six feet apart. What are we going to do? Wear your mask, wash your hands, and wait six feet apart. We have a good list of boys and girls. We know you got mommy, daddy, everybody ready. And I know you've been taking good notes because we've been in the same book for the whole five Sundays, Galatian. Yes. In the same book, and we have four words, four words. It's either been three words or four words. So let's count. Zero, one, two, three, four. Now let's count backwards. Four, three, two, one, and zero. And we're talking about God and the people. And Galatians, is that in the front or is it in the back? So if it's in the back, good job, good job. So if it's in the back, that means it's in the what? Is that the Old Testament or the New? No, y'all so smart. So listen up. We often want to do things that are not good for us. That means we are selfish and that we hurt other people's feelings. That's not good to be selfish. Mm -mm. No, that's not good. Mm -mm. We often want to do things that are not good for us. That, that is selfish, being selfish or hurting other people's feelings. And that's not good to hurt other people's feelings, boys and girls. Those of us who follow Jesus have the Holy Spirit to help us to live and to love the way God wants us to. The Holy Spirit is our guide. It helps us to live. It helps us to follow Jesus. It helps us to talk like Jesus. It helps us to act like Jesus. It helps us to do like Jesus. Because we just want to be just like Jesus. Yes. Okay? The Holy Spirit helps us to know what is right and what is good. What is right and what is good. Yes. The Holy Spirit, it guides us. It leads us. So, it keeps us from doing wrong things and hurting other people. The Holy Spirit, it protects us. It guides us. When we hear that little quiet voice, don't do that. That's the Holy Spirit. But when you overpower the Holy Spirit, you listen to the enemy. Okay? Listen here. When we are selfish, we take from others. Lie, fight, and we are jealous. That's not of God. That's not things of God. When we love Jesus and the Holy Spirit teaches us how to live, then we are filled with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, woo, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and what? Self-control. Fruits of the Spirit. Oh, yes. So let me go back over there. That was good right there. Let's go back. When we love Jesus... And we let the Holy Spirit teach us how to live. Then we are filled with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These all are good things for our lives and for others to live by. So let's focus on these things in our lives. Let's do those things. That is a good way to be free to bear fruit. Free to bear fruit. And that is good fruit to bear. That's the lesson for the book. Well, today, boys and girls, guess what? Let's go back and recap, okay? How many words is the lesson? Four words, four words. And it's found in the book of what? Galatians, okay? And that is in the what? New Testament which it is in the what? Front or the back? Back. New. We talking about who? God and the people. Free to bear fruit. <clears throat> Excuse me. We often want to do things that are not good 
for us. That is being selfish and hurting other people's feelings. Being selfish and hurting other people's. That's not good. That's not right. That's not of God. But listen here. Those of us who follow Jesus have the Holy Spirit to help us to live and to love the way God wants us to live, us to do. When we have the Holy Spirit in us, okay? So the Holy Spirit, it guides us, it protects us, and it makes us want to do right, okay? The Holy Spirit helps us to know what is right and good and what is wrong and hurtful. It lets us know what's right, what's wrong, what's wrong, and what's helpful. When we are selfish, we take from others. We lie, we fight, and we are jealous. But listen here. When we love Jesus and we let the Holy Spirit teach us how to live, then we are filled with what? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are all good things for our lives and for others. These are good tools to have. Go back. These are good tools to have. To have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are excellent tools to have. And let's try to do that. Let it become a part of us. Let us focus on those things that is in our lives. The love, joy, peace. Let's focus. That is a good tools to have and for us to use each and every day. Boys and girls, this is our lesson for this Sunday because free to bear fruit. And we are bearing good fruit when we have these tools in our lives. So boys and girls, the three W's are what? Wear your mask, wash your hands, and wait six feet apart. And also, boys and girls, on Tuesday mornings at 6 a.m., get up, be ready to get on the prayer line, and listen. And you have school, we have little, small devotion. Don't keep us on there long. So, and then on Wednesday night, we have Bible study. So get on, get your Bibles. Take some notes like we're doing now. Take some notes so you can talk about what they talked about at Bible study, okay? And then on Sunday mornings at what? 10.15, service start. So try to get here by 10 o'clock so you can come in the sanctuary and we can pray. Yes, at 10 o'clock, go inside and pray. So. We look forward to seeing you, and you get to hear Pastor Johnson preach and teach, and we get to hear the choir sing. So, they say what? When all is said and done, we're going to say bye-bye. And Miss Priscilla, we'll see you next Sunday, okay? Bye-bye. Love you.